Okay, Shalom, Shalom, Kwam Yasala, Koholo Yahweh Bashim Yahweshai, Bahashim, Chachadash, the Ba'anas to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well, the by the Spirit, taught us this beautiful truth, and just want to say the water to all the Akim and Akwa that's out here sincerely keeping the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahweshai to the best of their ability. Shachanan Awaf just coming at you with another quick, quick lesson. Pray that it's edifying by the Spirit. And, um, just going off into a, a lesson um, on a few topics, but I was uh, I was kind of going off um, GMS Birmingham camp with something that he mentioned, um, brother. He mentioned um, you know something to the extent of the so-called white people being the top serial killers, <laughs> and 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 you know, hey, when you pull it up, all you see is so-called white images. Now, are there so-called black um, serial killers? Of course, there are. You know, Asians. So-called Native Americans, so-called um, Hispanics, all, you know, all races got their, you know. But generally, the top, top one, and, and a lot of our, you know, a lot of our people, man, they learn this crap from the so-called white man. And they're proud. They're, they're real proud to be them killers, too, man. You know, they try and, you know, they go, they hey, they do it for sport, man. You see? Well, let me go off into, um, well, matter of fact, let me go back. Let's see here, because they had a, I don't know why they're showing it. They had a chart that I wanted to pull up. I'm not seeing it right off. Um, all right, so lock here. Let me go back here. Which one was that I was just saying? I think I was in this one right here, the Google one. I mean, duck, duck, go, but let me go to this Google. Now, what you're seeing right here is a, a chart, basically, right? Now, what you're seeing is the, the biggest dark, that dark, that murderous blood red that you're seeing right there. It says 1660, 1660. Let's go. See, that, that color is representative of the so-called white man. So basically, over half of this pie is them. Then, of course, they're saying that the, um, the, the, the second in line is the so-called blacks. You know, but anyway, it was another one that I really wanted to get, but... It went off into uh, so, uh, America, basically, um, being they, they was just doing it by countries, man. And no country is even close, nowhere near close to um, how many people, uh, how many serial killers that come out of this place, man. Babylon the Great. And I can't find it. But anyway, it's by the spirit. Yes, you can see you can see they all pretty much overall. All these photos are, are Edomites, Edomites, the so-called white man, you know, the motherfuckers eat people kidnap people do all kinds of wickedness to people and um yeah that chart is not in here i'm not sure where i saw that it was another one but it was by um by country i think england was next but and they had like i think it, what it said was england had like 119 serial killers but america had just uh like 2300 like almost <laughs> almost 2500 um serial killers so uh, america is babylon the great but now let's get I wanted to go off into this right here. Check this guy out. Judge delays execution of Georgia man who killed eight-year-old girl, raped ten-year-old. Now, here you go. This is the guy right here. Now, are there Israelites that look like this guy? Of course, you know, because we were scattered throughout the four corners of the earth, and Israelites can, you know, look like any nation of people as long as they come from Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, because we were scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. Our men laid down with the women of those nations and a lot of our children came out looking like the women of those nations you know as far as concubines go or whatever but those children are still israelites because the, the male carries the seed and if you come from abraham isaac and jacob then you are an israelite but this guy right here you know this this got edomite written all over it man you know now do jake do crazy shit like this yeah jake do crazy shit like this too but anyway you know, they're basically, they're, they were supposed to, to knock this guy off. Now, they've been housing this guy for almost 50 years, right? If they know that he'd done the crime, why are they housing him and feeding him off the taxpayers' dollars when he's done such a heinous crime? Scripturally, if this was a real Christian country, they would have been knocked his ass off as soon as they found out that the guilt was there. Let's get a little bit of it. It says, the scheduled ex execution of a Georgia man who murdered an eight-year-old and raped a 10-year-old in, in 1976 was halted Tuesday night following a judge's decision Monday to stay the execution. 
okay? Vigil Delani Presnell Jr., 68, abducted Lori Ann Smith, 8, and her 10-year-old friend while they were walking home from an elementary school in Cobb County 46 years ago. Yeah, that sounded about Edomite-ish. He raped the 10-year-old girl and drowned Smith in a creek when she tried to run. Police found him outside his apartment after the murder. He initially denied the crime, but eventually confessed and led them to the girl's body. So if he confessed and led them to the girl's body, he's the only person that would have knew what the bodies was. That means that his ass is guilty. You see what I'm saying? He was convicted later that year and sentenced to death on charges of malice murder and kidnapping and rape. His sentence was overturned in 1992, but was reinstated in 1999. His lawyers, er, his, his lawyers argued in a clemency petition that Presnell had severe brain damage, potentially caused by his mother drinking while she was pregnant. See this shit? And didn't know the harm he was causing to the girls during the attacks. His lawyers have has also argued that he suffered sexual abuse in his family as a child. So if he suffered, um, you know, sexual abuse as a child, why would he go out and be raping child, children? And then with that, his his mother was drinking shit. Man, you know how many babies are born with with, with cocaine in their system and all kinds of shit, man. Drinks, drugs, pills, you name it. And, 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 and turn out to be normal children. This, he had sense enough to do the shit he was doing. But this is America. And this is why this place has to be taken down. Because only in a place like this can a man admit to doing these types of crimes. And still be living, man. And for 46 years. And then they... they, they this motherfucker, he almost, he's basically... <laughs> he's basically set up to get the hell out, basically, in a sense. You're talking about man, but they probably gonna give his ass the chair or whatever they're gonna do. But the thing of it is, is let's get this one scripture because this guy shouldn't be. He should have been, he should have been got it, man. He should have been got it. Um, what was that I wanted to get? Uh, let's get um, Psalms 73. I'm gonna start at verse 3. For I was envious at the foolish when I saw the prosperity of the wicked. For there are no bands in their death, but their strength is firm. This is the point. They are not in trouble as other men. Neither are they plagued like other men. That, this is why I'm thinking this is an Edomite. So you have to read the spirit when it comes down to so Because we're under curses. Had this been a so-called black man, they'd have been charred his ass. They'd have been shot that needle in him or whatever they got for whatever state. You know, if there's, um, um you know... Lethal um, punishment, so to speak, like that. They'd have been charged, Jake, man. But this is why I'm saying I'm thinking this is an Edomite. Because, look, <laughs> this motherfucker is able to live 50 years off the taxpayers. We've been feeding this fat motherfucker, man. Clothing this fat ass. You know, he probably done got married, having conjugal visits. He's just chilling off the, off, off, off the state, man. Off, the, off, off, off taxpayers' money. When his ass should, be, should have been in a box, man. Well, well, as soon as he admitted to it, man, he's going to talk. But see, like I said, you're living in a wicked kingdom where a lawyer, you can prolong shit like this for that long. You know, and but this is supposed to be a Christian country. No, back in the ancient days, that's why we're going to run a righteous kingdom, man. You think stuff like this is going to happen in the kingdom? You see, I'm going get to get to just live scotch free for 50 years and then. They, they, you know, his lawyer come up with some bullshit to say, all right, well, let's just, you know, we just going to, you know, let's just take care of him until he naturally dies. No, nah, man, he should have been got rid of this guy, man. Anyway, this is their kingdom. Let me get that back again. They are not in trouble as other men. Neither are they plagued like other men. And same thing goes with your with your Buffalo school shooter. I mean, your Buffalo might as well be a damn school shooter. <laughs> you see, with the supermarket shooter. You see how they nicely slipped his ass into the backseat of the car? Oh, but watch your head. Don't bump your head. This motherfucker didn't get tackled. Nothing, man. And his lawyer might... He already... And he pleaded not guilty. And he's actually on camera doing this shit. With a non-guilty plea. There shouldn't even be no, 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 um... Nothing with this, man. Other than this fucker should be just taken on our back. And getting d done up, man. How is he able to even say, I'm not guilty... Motherfucker, you the one with the gun in the hand. Cameras on him and everything. He got on his own camera telling on himself, man. 
and he gets to plead not guilty, they're going to prolong his shit, carry it out. Your Honor, my, my client, he's this, this, this. Man, look, Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, is the wicked that the Bible speaks of, man. And that ma matter of fact, let's see if I got that one up here. Um, uh, where is that at? Uh, Salakia. Okay, here we go right here. Why do white supremacists want to kill black people? And this is in The Guardian. <laughs> and, and it's a pretty good little piece, man. Um... And they, they're, what they're going up into, they, they're going up into the Emmett Till Anti-Lynching Act, which, you know, that was something that Joe Biden signed, you know, because that that clown, he just wants, um, you you, you know, in case America lasts um, another four years, they you know, this clown wants you to come back and vote for him with all this high ass gas and fucked up ass food prices and stuff. You know, this is what he's working on. So with you niggas, because he fools you niggas into coming out and voting for him, man. That's what happened. So that, that's what he's working on with little stuff like that. But this is a great little article, whoever it was. I'm not sure if it was a Jake or if it was a. Uh, or if it was a so-called white person. <laughs> yeah, right. I'll get some of this right here. It says if Congress wanted to actually fight white supremacist violence, it could fund grants for schools to teach racial justice education. They don't want nothing to do with critical race theory, though. They don't want nothing to do with CRT, you know. They, they, they don't want the children to be taught that their 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 people are perpetual haters of our people, man. OK, it says Biden signed the Emmett Till Anti-Lynching Act at a time when the states are making it illegal to teach about Emmett Till. See that? See that? If the federal government wants to stop or at least slow down a new generation of potential white supremacists, it must make vigorous aff aff affirmative efforts to openly and financially support schools and community organizations doing this work but see what that's gonna do is that's gonna mean that they're gonna have to tell on each other <laughs> that's what they're that that's what that means they don't want the children to know that they that their parents and great great grandparents and they was fucking murderers man and rapists and kidnappers and we're still in the hands of these people you're still in the hands of human traffickers to this very day man well this uh, um quite a long article i won't go off into it just wanted to just touch on you know um the fact that this guy is the cunning hunter and this man hunts men and he sets traps. When you're a cunning hunter, that means that you, you blend in with the terrain. You camouflage yourself. You blend in, you move about, you know, you, you know, uh, or, or you, you, you notice hunting, hunting channels and stuff like that. How they, you know, got these camouflage outfits that look like they are part of the trees and bushes. And That's Esau Edom. That's the so-called white man. That's actually one of his, um, his traits. Let's get um. Let's get that. That's in the scriptures, man. It says he came out red and hairy. <laughs> that's a trait of him. You know, that's how you know who Esau Edom is. He's the red man. He's not actually white. He's pinkish to reddish in color. It says that he was a cunning hunter and that his gift was um, part of his gift was the sword. He's a brilliant weapon maker. This guy can make a, 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 a this guy created the nuclear bomb, man. <laughs> you see, he's a brilliant weapon maker. Anything that, that, that's destructive and that can kill, no one is going to outdo the so-called white man in, in making that shit, man. And all the other countries, they just replicate what they do. That's it, you know? But let's get, um... Is that, uh... Genesis 25 and 27. And the boys grew. Now, these are the twins, Esau and Jacob. And the boys grew, and Esau was a cunning hunter. A man of the field. And Jacob was a plain man dwelling in tents. That's why they, they got a, a, a term that they say, you know, when, when they're after somebody, they call it a man hunt. And they'll hunt your ass down. They know how to hunt, man. <laughs> and they set traps. You see what I'm saying? That's what a hunter do, does. It's a, just like that, that so-called white guy with the, um, the, um, the um, you know, the uh, little chick that he was messing with that was a security guard. Or she was a police officer herself. She ended up, you know, helping this clown escape. What did they do? They set up a manhunt. They hunted his ass down. You know, they blood, you know, how they, you know, they got bloodhounds. You know, they, 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 they're they, they expert at tracking. They tracked his ass right down. He wasn't even, he wasn't even out two weeks, man. You know, 
But anyway, that's one of their gifts, man. The manhunter. And matter of fact, let me see. Um, it's a scripture. And they still doing this to our this very day. But this is something that they, they done in slavery. They're still doing it to this day. Well, I know what it is. I need an S on that. Lamentations 4 and 18. They hunt our steps that we cannot go in our streets. Our end is near. Our days are fulfilled for our end is come. And that's exactly what the so-called white man does. He hunts our steps. What do you think this guy done? He done reconnaissance the day before he actually shot up the supermarket. That's a cunning hunter. That's traits of a cunning hunter. Now, do other races of people do that? Yeah, they do that. But nobody is better than that shit at that shit than um, Esau Edom. Because, see, they've been blessed with the, 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 with the they've been blessed with the, the gift to hunt, man. And then at the same time, too, see, nobody really notices them like that. They can just blend through. Man, it'd be um, Edomites, they'll walk through um, a Jake neighborhood and nobody will fuck with him, won't say nothing to him, won't talk to him, but just, just let him slide. But let your nigga ass be out in one of their neighborhoods. They're going to be on the, I'm calling the police. There's a suspicious man that's walking through the neighborhood. That's how they get down, man. But these are the, these are the Edomites, man. And they have that perpetual hatred. And that's one of the, um, let me get that one too. They have that perpetual hatred. That goes off into that article why they, they was asking that question. As to why they want to kill niggas. And it's all about the curses, really. It's a it's a spiritual thing that's going on and people don't understand that it has always been that way and it's going to always be that way until our Lord comes. That's why you can't befriend these people. You just say hey, if you got to work with them, go to work, man, get your money, go do what you got to do. But all that old befriending them and, and hanging out with them and shit, man, fuck all that, man. Ain't no use in it. Ezekiel 35 and five. Now, this is talking to the Edomites, the so-called white man, because thou has had a perpetual hatred. And has shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword in the time of their calamity, in the time that their iniquity had an end. Therefore, as I live, saith the Lord God, I will prepare thee unto blood and blood shall pursue thee since thou hast not hated blood. Even blood shall pursue thee. Now, this is a, um, a prophecy for you so-called white people, because you're not going to you're not going to get away with all the stuff that you've done, man. The Lord will be unjust, man, if he allowed you. To, um, to, to, to deal with the children of Israel like that and, and, and get away with it. And you, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you are those children, man. You are the children of Israel. That's your true nationality. That's your biblical nationality. The so-called white man rounded us up and gave us all these bywords, all these blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans, Jamaicans, Haitians, all this bullshit, man. Those are, not, those are bywords. And that's actually in the book of Deuteronomy 28 under uh, under the curses of what they would be calling us. They wouldn't be calling us Israelites. They would be calling us by all these fucked up names that they gave us. And they're going to pay, man. They're gonna, it's only a matter of time. That's why we're prophesying and, and, and we're, we're seeing, the king, we're seeing their, their kingdom actually fall right before our very eyes. The Lord is showing us tokens on a day-to-day -day basis. They can't handle it, man. That's why they're speeding up everything. They're speeding up the destruction, man. They're trying to Get that grain of rice in your ass, <laughs> for one, and especially you Negroes. They want that grain of rice in you guys immediately so they can perpetually enslave you. They want you to become a perpetual slave. It's not enough that they still have us in their hands. They want to put some shit in you to control your every move, man. Know your every move. They want to be, they want to be your God. They want to be the all-seeing, all-knowing. You know, they have that God complex, you know? That man of sin is being revealed. Matter of fact, let's let's grab that real quick. Second Thessalonians 2, start at verse 3 here. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come except there come a falling away first. And that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. And that falling away was us falling away from, from our culture, falling away from Yahweh by Shimei Shai. You see, that happened. Now, we're living in a time where the man of sin, that man of perdition is being revealed. It's the so-called white man. Everybody is starting to see it. Everybody knows that they're the problem, but they, they still have to go out there and give that, that, that speech that, to, the, the, to the audience 
you know, lying their fucking ass off, trying to uphold that 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 image that they once had. And it's it's it's, it's faltering, man. It's not happening. Verse four is the point. Who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called God, or that is worship, so that he is God, sitteth in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. And, 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 and that's the guy that gave you white Jesus. These are the people that gave you white Jesus. These are the people that are telling you that the Lord, the Father, is some white guy. You see? With their little freaky ass pictures, with their little white baby angels with wings on their back and their little pee pee showing. That's a bunch of damn freaks and weirdos, man. And the Lord is lifting up their skirt and showing the world that, no, these are not the people. These are the wicked that the Bible speaks of. These are the Job and 9 and 24s, man. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. If not, where and who is he? He covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? He covered the main judge's face, man. This guy was the one that gave you a renaissance picture trying to make the world Believe that the, the that the father is a white guy and his son is a white guy with leprosy. Blonde hair, blue eyes, all kinds of recessive genes. Like, come on, man. Just a complete lie. And that stumbling block is being broken down, man. So we're and we're living in the last days. So you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, it's high time to awake out of sleep, man. Y'all gotta wake up. You have to repent. Because if you don't, you're gonna be destroyed when the Lord destroys this place, man. And the Edomites. The so-called white man, they're going straight into slavery in the kingdom. Straight into hardcore, rigorous slavery, man. They're, and their people are going to be looking crazy as hell when they see that the Lord look like a so-called Negro. And the people that they've enslaved and dogged out for centuries are his, are his relatives. It's not going to be a pretty look for them, man. You don't want to be holding hands with them, man. You know, here you go, you got the nigga woman all dating them, living with them. Having their babies and children all just out here proud as hell. The Lord is going to destroy your ass. Those children that, that you're having by the so-called white man, they're going straight into slavery. I'm telling you, man, it's getting, it's getting real out here. These prophecies are, are coming to pass faster and faster and faster by the day, man. So repent. So you repent to the Father, Yahweh, which is the true name of the Father. Which means that he exists or the existing one. He is to be in Paleo-Hebrew. In the name of his son, Yahweh Shai, which is in Paleo Hebrew, it means he's the savior or deliverer. Those are the true names of the father and son. Our Lord is not some white guy named Jesus. The letter J wasn't even out when he walked the earth back then. The letter J is only like 500 years old. So if he walked the earth 2000 years ago, how is they calling him Jesus? You got to ask yourself those things, man. And his name is very, very important. You can't just be calling him what you want to call him. You, you, you don't want to be called some other name. <laughs> you want people to get your name correct. What's the rapper that said, put some respect on my name? Whoever that was. Anyway, but hey, the Lord <laughs> wants and, and deserves respect on his name, man. <laughs> Y'all better get it together, man. The Lord is not playing no games out here. And you see, he, he allowed, he actually set that so-called white boy up to go out there and shoot that damn supermarket up in judgment. That was judgment on those people. This is how cold the Lord is. He and he 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 live live zoomed they ass. You know, on, on, on Twitch live. Just the, the Lord is cold, man. That's why I said it's so important to fear the Lord. So with that, I pray that the lesson was edifying. Kwame Shalom.